dinners at the house. They hunt for food, compete with each other, even cooperate. They enjoy participating in activities like that, and the feeling is mutual. After all, okay, it's finished. always possible certain familiar faces will be missing from the crowd the next time a similar event rolls around. Something has come up, and since it pertains to Fox Cyrus Sino? and Sino, I deemed it essential to inform you all. It was a great plan, shrouded in secrecy. We all gathered around and celebrated the revival of our lord. That's how I gained my power. The old man's been putting the pressure on me. He sent someone to tell me I'm needed for some sort of project. Project Stuja? Participating in the plan will lose a lot of members in the process. But I did not anticipate we would meet again after Why is that senator playing Genosis? violin? If you accept my proposal, Monsieur Neverland, unless absolutely necessary, I will no longer carry out any special missions within Fontaine. Wait. Transfixed. Okay, I, it's the weapon I think it is. Everlasting as the I definitely room. saw the weapon. Okay, An no port once they don't cannot be rescinded. Do you have any idea what you're doing? You're hiding the very person father has been trying to find. I really didn't mean to drag anyone else into this. If father finds out about this, everyone involved is going to be punished. A traitor. Sino was chosen, but he was not the only one. You'd like me to return my power? I'm really looking forward to this rite of duels. The wisdom of Hermanutis. Yo, who the ours. I want you to become the next king of the house. Yet you seem to have different Why ideas. Why have wings? I'm not saying I have all the answers, but doing so will only bring us further away from being a real family. Your words paint an optimistic picture indeed. Allow me to remind you, however, few among us are willing to sit from a glass oh, filled with tainted water. We, I'll make sure Except it's drained of all impurities and returned Why? to its cleanest form. Good things come to children who do as they're told. So I do hope you decide to take <laughs> the role. There are many dangers ahead, and I, for one, don't intend to back down. I don't want to disobey an order from Father. So why? Why have you backed us into a corner? No demonstration of loyalty shall be <laughs> no! And no sacrifice shall be in vain. What the fuck was that outfit? I guess that's a boss fight, but like, bro, what? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Aaron, why don't you give us a rundown on what sort of organization the House of the Hearth is? Yes, it would be my pleasure. Actually, yeah, Based tell me. Based on the most recent intelligence reports, the House of the Hearth is a Fatui intelligence organization operated by the Knave. Uh, it takes in children who no longer have a home due to all manner of reasons, and they receive an education in a variety of disciplines. Okay. Naturally, at the same time as it provides a home, the children also take on various responsibilities. So how about we... Start diving into all the new information that we have about our Lakino. Let's do it. Yes, let's do it. Okay, okay. First, I, I want to hear it straight from y'all. What kind of person do you think the knave is? Oh no. Oh my gosh, I'm feeling a lot of pressure right now. For the blind, <laughs> the knave is the is new. vision. For um, the, the deaf, she's hearing. The For the Arthur hungry, I noticed that our Lakino was. My bad. Mods, find the guy that wrote who Tao rework in chat. If you're curious about our Lakino's past then you'll have to find your answer in the game. That's fair. Her story quest, Ignis Purgatorius, okay. will be released with version 4.6. We're definitely doing that. Now, Not I coping, we're actually doing that. I don't want to gameplay experience by saying too much about her quest, okay? But I do hope that travelers will be able to appreciate our Lakino's unique charm after they've experienced her entire story. <laughs> yeah. Version 4.6 will also introduce a new feature, the focused experience mode. Ooh. Now, if you use the feature while playing Arlecchino's story quest, then it will minimize the number of times that you'll be interrupted by characters or quest locations being allocated to other quests. Mm. So hopefully this mode will help travelers have a better story experience, cool. you know? Nice. <laughs> That's cool. right. And in the future, this function will become available for more and more quests. Besides the story quest, I'm also looking That's fucking forward sick. to hearing the name. No, voice no longer stun locked. <laughs> <laughs> Next, let's take a look at Arlequino's elegant yet deadly fighting style. Ooh. <laughs> Intrigue! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 
staring into my eyes oh, is it? advised. I can't promise you'll like what you see. Okay, I saw that. And then no the point acting, I did see the chair. A sick chair. Bro. Is that not a fucking scythe and a wing, by the way? She has a fucking wing and a scythe! This is where you fall. Oh, oh, so <laughs> Alright, well if yeah, so I hadn't seen her animations, but I knew she had uh, abilities, then I heard about the we're gonna have to talk about the bond of life Which is uh, I'll shut up, I'll shut up. been a victim to it while you were fighting elite Fatui operatives in Fontaine. Does anyone still remember what a bond of life is? Uh, what the fuck? Do it. Are you gonna be teaching us about her abilities? Guys, you're too loud. Pipe oh. down. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> let's listen to what she has to say. Wait, I, I think I remember. It's the red portion of the HP Okay, bar. okay, okay, when I know what this is. When you have a bond of life active, it'll absorb any healing that your character receives. So, they can't regain HP bond and of the life? bond of life value. Yeah, there's bond of life on like Fontaine yeah. weapons yes, right now. So right? I've Very used good it. good student. <laughs> when Arlen Kido <laughs> has a bond of life greater than or equal to a certain percentage of her health bar, her normal charged Dude, her... and plunging attacks will be converted to pyro damage. Her animations are so sick. be overridden by other elemental infusions. And while she's in this state, her normal attacks will consume a portion of her current bond of life to deal more damage and reduce the remaining cooldown on her elemental skill. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Know, a it's a lot, it's a lot. So you're saying Dude, that she'll deal that's such a more sick idol. damage with her normal attack when her bond of life is higher? <laughs> Put simply, yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a like... second. <laughs> no, wait. I get it. Wait, so uh, Arlequino can give herself a bond of life, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I think so. I mean, otherwise she'd have to chase down Dude, enemies is... who can put a bond of life on her. <laughs> Actually, that that sounds kind of funny. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, and that brings us to our elemental uh, skill. Dude, I, this our character Latino is fucking sick. I'm doesn't sorry. Doesn't just damage enemies. It also applies a blood debt directive to any enemy that it hits, which will damage them periodically. And when she uses a charged attack or her elemental burst, she'll absorb nearby blood debt directives. This yeah, you saw that shit, right? Her to obtain a bond of life based on the number of directives that she absorbed. So don't worry, Max. Oh, I was very concerned. <laughs> but, I, know, I know you were. I don't want to okay, drop them, but the polearm turned she into a scythe. If you didn't HP see, it was on her back as a polearm. Is removed, right? So see? That's a... how does she stay in the fight? Well, after dishing out damage, Arlequino's elemental burst will reset the cooldown of her elemental skill and heal her based on her attack and her current bond of life. Oh, okay. Also, thanks to one of her talents, while Arlequino is in combat, she gains bonus pyro damage, but also cannot be affected by any healing effects other than the healing provided by her burst. Oh, so I, that seems like she's as ruthless like she to can't be healed. as she is to <laughs> Like she needs therapy, probably. <laughs> <laughs> She's kind of a savage. I mean, <laughs> um, right. So Arlequino even has a special kind of movement whenever she uses her charged attack, mm. right? Ooh, that looks perfect for scaring your enemies. Yes. Yeah, and for putting some serious pressure on them. Wait, how long does that fucking yeah. last? <laughs> what the fuck? Did she just float over the entire oh, ocean? Oh, it's about time to introduce the event wishes in version 4.6. You guys ready? Ooh, let's yeah. do it. So exciting. All right. During the first phase of version 4.6, Arlequino and Arlequino and Lenny expected. Lenny will both enjoy a drug boost. Does that make sense? The all-new five-star polearm Crimson Moon semblance will also become available. Did also, that? Okay, I'm gonna be real. That one is fucking. Baiju will return in the second phase, so be sure to keep an eye out. Yay! Oh my Water gosh, Baiju. that's so amazing. <laughs> All right. Okay. So that polearm is fucking Dana, sick, but I wish it was just a scythe anyone could use. Like However, it is it's pretty Actually, cool. I do. Let's <gasps> discuss the new weekly boss. Oh that's my gosh. right. We were just talking about how the knave shows different faces to her family members and to outsiders, but in special circumstances, she Where's Farina? Oh yeah, true actually. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Are you ready to see a new knave? Yes! Ready? I am ready! So ready! Show me the weekly? Okay, that's sick. All right, I'm sold. You can stop there. <laughs> Is 
Dude, I'm so glad she's playable. Because they could have just made her a boss and then been like, oh, well, she's not playable. Also, what the fuck is... Yo, what is that outfit? Let me pull for that outfit, please. You will make so much money, Hoyoverse, please. Is that fucking Taboo from fucking Smash 4? Do you know what I'm talking- dude! What the fuck wow. was that? Not even Linian. She'll appear normally at first, as if she were giving you an ordinary training lesson, waiting to counter your attacks. The hell is she- yeah, yo. It seems like she'll dodge all of our attacks. Yo, what is this team call, by the way? Her immediate range. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I guess it's- okay, that's it lower, never mind. Like implying that we're all in it's the her children. Her hand. <laughs> I mean, you guys know what her personality's like. She doesn't want her children <laughs> crying or running away from conflict. Instead, she hopes that they'll be able to take the initiative. This was an Enderman! Their own father. Wait, say, true! Well, not show her children mercy, so neither can she afford to be too forgiving to them. If you do not repay the blood debt directives the knave applies to you, all her attacks against you will be enhanced. But if you manage to outheal the bond of life, the knave will reward you for repaying this blood debt, and your charged attacks against her will be enhanced. Okay. Uh, what the fuck was that? Her back look like Yo, she just. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. <laughs> like it. Oh my gosh, it's like she has total control of her prey while she watches them struggle and closes the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> better yeah. Nevelette. Creepy being the hunted one for once. <laughs> also, nice shot though by whoever's doing the demo. Oh, nice okay, shot. Okay, okay, okay. That was we a good Lenny shot. The introduction here. <laughs> Let's leave some space for everyone to experience the challenge for themselves. Wait, so I know that many travelers will be wondering about this. The Nave's boss form is tied to her story quest. Mm -hmm. Normally, players would have to progress the story to a certain point in order to participate in the challenge. But now we have a quick challenge. Yeah, there's a new feature. You can just do it. Domain bosses. Yeah. Yeah. As long as travelers are adventure rank 40 or higher, they'll be able to challenge her directly yep. by going to the adventurer. Actually, good quality of life for once. Tab, selecting Trounce Domains and pressing Quick Challenge. Wow. Oh, that's cool. It's a yeah. nice little shortcut. Well, that's to the cool. It's not just for Lord Skipper's yeah. chat. It's nice oh also gosh, if, like, let's say the that. boss that comes out and really I want to do it before doing the quest. I don't have to, like, skip through the quest. It looks like it's my turn to deliver some news. Two new artifact sets will become available in version 4.6. Fragment of Harmonic Whimsy and Unfinished Reverie. Those are Travelers pretty cool. Are top one looks, uh, no, bottom one looks cool. prettier, but top one looks Arlequino oh, vibe. Your Sumeru City will be experiencing an unsolved mystery. Ooh. And for some reason, Sino's gotten mixed up. Please show them. Hey, I want to know what they do. This picture is right Sino there. Quest? Okay, cool. Oh. I'm gonna. Hey, I, not <laughs> benched. We will do that. Well, Sina wanted to investigate personally because someone involved in the case has a very unique identity, and the two of them share a close connection. Hmm. Okay. Sounds like there's some serious shenanigans going on. Ito, right. respectfully, how, why are you here? I'm sorry. He doesn't have a banner. How did These he get here? All very good who, who let him in? But I'll offer you one clue that you probably wouldn't sorry. be able to guess otherwise. A mysterious youngster with connections to the mystery will make his debut during the case. Wow, I like this guy's hair, though. And Sino's friends are not just freeloaders who only show up for food. Tainari, Kale, Alhatham, and Kave will all come to support him when he's in a pinch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dude, why do kids freak <laughs> out whenever Kave's mentioned? Damon. All right, let me go back to where I was. Hey. Welcome back, everyone. Oh, yeah, we're basically so, caught up. That's what I saw. Okay, bad, bad. told you the story of Arlequino and the yeah. House of the Hearth. So, yeah. why don't we continue the story of Remuria, which you saw in the beginning of the program? I would like this very much, please. <laughs> yes. New area? The undersea <laughs> capital of the lost homeland. Atlantis? I'm down. This looks cool. Of Fontaine will open in version 4.6. Travelers will get to visit okay. the village of Petricor. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Though, would there even be much to see? Those on are cool statues. Well, yeah, I guess this is this is where I'm supposed to really confidently say totally, right? It is, yeah. <laughs> okay, now that you've mentioned it, there's definitely more to this village than meets the eye. That's right? cool. Yeah, it's a I city. Think focused on the wrong thing here. This is where the kingdom of Remuria's remains lay at rest. So, how big was such a glorious and prosperous nation, really? Mm. Oh, well, now that you say that, I mean, this little town looks a whole lot bigger. Now, that's a neat trick. <clears throat> oh, this is cool. What's anyway. this? <laughs> this is where we'll meet 
a talking cat. With its guidance, we will be able what the to see fuck? The There's a talking cat. What? Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, what is it? for a talking cat. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> As Aaron mentioned at the beginning of the program, King Remus composed a symphony, one with wondrous power that grants the wishes of the human souls dwelling within. Yes, I'm getting it. I'm getting it. I'm. I. I actually. I don't You're get it. You're so not getting it. Get That's it. okay. I will explain it in a few words, <laughs> so you'll just have to learn about this. Remember about Neko? Okay, but that's like the Inazuma one. This little cat. I'll avoid spoiling the adventure itself, but you'll arrive at the Remoria ruins with the cat. The kingdom's Wait, the cat has a little bubble to swim in. Sunlight can't reach. You'll meet a dragon in the deep seas. <gasps> dun, dun, Wait, dun, dun. <laughs> so you'll be able to obtain powers relating to the I'm symphony, hyped. which will help you explore the lost realm of Remuria. You'll be able to pause the melody within the realm of this ancient civilization. You can also unseal time in places where it stopped. So oh, these cool. powers will let you interact with specific objects in the ruins. <laughs> You know, that might be useful for solving puzzles during your cool. adventure. Oh, cool. fuck the Meanwhile, puzzles. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. That's cool. No, no. Castle. I mean, Silently yes, you are cool. The immortality and glory of a great civilization. It awaits a warrior who would dare challenge the majesty I'm... of the ancient ruler. Oh, yeah. I'm afraid right. of this enemy. I feel like he's going to be annoying to fight, but he looks cool. Visually, you can earn all a buff statue. If you manage to beat it in a challenge. Yeah. I'm so hyped for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. And Damon, you did such a great yes, job with introducing it. That was great. great. That was great, yeah. Damon. Wait, but real quick, quick question. Yeah. How do we even get to such a remote little island? That is a great question. Travelers okay. who have already completed the third act of the Archon Quest, third act. Song of the Dragon and Freedom, sure. will automatically unlock a teleport waypoint in the village of Petricor. Wait, please show me what the new domain does, please. Exploring the new area. Please. I've heard that your resin is capped, by the way. You should turn for many new areas in the future. Yo, your resin. So exciting. I know. So cool. <laughs> all right. That's all the information that we have about Fontaine for now. And now, outside of the region, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. It seems like a new style of rock and roll is getting popular in Inazuma. <gasps> rock and roll. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's all take a short break before we get into the next section. Okay. I hear that a musical tour is coming to Inazuma, and the organizer is none other than Arataki. Oh, Frigoro! I mean, okay, respectfully, Aww, respectfully, that's respectfully. So cute. Adorable. Respectfully. I'm really looking forward to it. Who <laughs> asked for Frigoro? Really the music festival of life. Who? Everyone I'm sorry. Unleash their own. Dvorak will be giving away a brand that's new sick. musical instrument to our travelers called the Nightwind Horn. Ooh. So if you Ooh. enjoy playing music in real life, or especially if you enjoy playing music in the game, be sure to check it out. I'm looking forward to seeing more amazing performances from all the great musicians out there. Are you now? Well, I'll play you a song so chat on my trumpet in the festival, or whatever that is, horn. Why don't you help launch the Arataki Rockin' for Life Tour to Force of Awesomeness? Yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> all right, there's three steps to preparing for the festival. Number one. Oh wait, okay. I actually like these events ensemble. though. Ensemble. We can practice getting into the flow with. You guys are typing veg, but I actually like these. Still coming together. Wow, those keys look really unique. Yeah, they really are. And the second task is called the Trillion Trinket Trawl. Mm. Say that three times fast. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. The Trillion Trinket Trawl. I did it. Ooh. We can't have <laughs> a rock and music festival without a rock and venue. So. Travelers will be helping Dvorak spruce it up with his list of items. It's okay, a call me cake, Island. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, <laughs> we have the meeting of melodies. Can't have a party without what a What the fuck fan, is this? So we gotta invite fellow music lovers to come jam with us. After listening to their tunes, we can restore the missing music notes. Oh. oh so we'll be able to hear them sing. That is super exciting. Yeah. Yes, that's the point. Music gets you pumped. And after we've rocked out to the pure spirit of music awesomeness in Inazuma over in Mondstadt, we'll that? dancing to a tense and thrilling tune. <gasps> hold up, hold up. Ooh. What do you mean by tense and thrilling? Does it mean anything if I say... Wind Trace, Seekers and Strategy Wait. has finally arrived. Oh! Yes! Wait, is this Wind I Trace rerun or am Trace. I getting trolled? And and yeah, it can get a little tense at times. <laughs> well, that the, the, the name implies that the game has undergone some. Uh, give the pass down, which is, yeah, yeah, it's Wind Trace again. Yeah, you're correct. That's very intuitive. All right, cool. You. Yeah, you'll be playing hide and seek as rebel Let's go. hunters, just like before, but there are a few new rules. Ooh. I'm terrible when at this one. For the I like the other ones. I'm terrible at the hunter one. Surveillance zone for a short period of time. Now, they will okay. be automatically freed after their timeout, but also their friends can try to help them escape the zone early. 
But if you get sent to jail twice, you're permanently deleted from the game. <gasps> oh, that does sound tense and thrilling. <laughs> right? And that's not all. Oh no, each round will have six signaling devices, which will okay, prevent- Someone in chat said I'm terrible at everything, which is not true, but I'll let it slide. The Rebels' goal is to repair these devices while also avoiding capture. Once they repair four devices, they win the match. Oh, and Rebels okay. can work together to repair these devices. And Hunters will either need to prevent the Rebels from repairing the signaling devices, or they can simply eliminate their opponents. If you team up with friends, then watching these games should be a blast. <laughs> ah, she gets it. She gets it. But the next part is even more thrilling. Yeah, this is when Rebels are fixing a signaling <laughs> device, the device being repaired will enter the high-speed signaling state. What does it mean? It means it'll give off a light visible by every player in the area. In fact, the device will even be marked on the minimap. Ooh, okay. So that means that repairing the devices will expose your location. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's these sort of unexpected risks that can be the most nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. This is going to be super interesting to play. Yeah. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And in another event, travelers will receive a rather strange... That's a cool hat. What do you mean, rather strange? Brain. But whatever. What I mean is, there's a chef who's famous for using unusual ingredients. A chef! And he wants to make friends. Shang! Oh, it's not Shang Li. Yeah, I thought you would react this way. Anyway, a chef recently returned from a trip to Natlan, and he started getting some. Oh, Natlan! That's like the first time. Wait a second. Sense. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. Wait. Is there like Did no Natlan NPCs? Back. But for now, it's time for me to introduce the game. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. Here you. All right. You got it. <laughs> you got In it. This challenge you can adjust the difficulty and your negotiation strategies if you've got the guts oh my god wait that's sick wait maybe not i don't know what this is yet but you can also talk to ranjit to adjust the number of negotiation strategies so if you reduce them it okay we're getting max points difficulty giving you the perfect opportunity to test your skills cool both active yeah the vagabond event is fun i don't know if this is similar available you can trigger action Hopefully? strategies at will. However, your opponent's HP and level will change depending on the number of strategies that Ooh, you've picked. That's cool. So, yeah. So you've got to choose your favorite strategies to come out on top. Play to your Yo, strategies. what is this team yeah. comp, by the and way? Moving on. Travelers Why are you playing? familiar with our next event, Vibro Crystal Applications. Ooh, I have never heard of a Vibro like Crystal. It involves connecting different vibrating crystals in order to generate different effects. Aaron, I am so impressed by how intuitive you are oh my gosh thank you that means that so is much incredible. coming <laughs> yeah well i meant it each round requires two teams before each battle oh this set up vibro crystal harmonics plans for each of your teams this will allow you to receive different combat buffs when you combine wait i remember this and receiver crystals hmm. Basically, the transmitter crystal decides the trigger condition, while the receiver crystal determines the buff that your team gets as a result. By connecting them in different combinations, you can create varying harmonic effects. This is like old. This has been a while. Wow. Spot on. I think I did this challenge when I first got Chalcons. <laughs> you gain a harmonic I think? point for each time. Oh, maybe not. I don't know actually. Effect. What the fuck you is get this? Even more combat bonuses if you accumulate enough harmonic points. Yo, Each why are you physical punching? You're playing sh So you can choose the harmonic okay. buff that works best for your team setup. Nice. Be sure to maximize your points if you want to exchange them for rewards. Maximize. Nice. Also, the Genius Invocation TCG event. The TCG! Wow. And there's going to be an overflowing mastery event. So you can more easily train up the characters. Nice. Next up, we're presenting some information about improvements for check different in-game systems. Nice. Ooh, first ah. up, we have some updates. I think we saw these. Teapot, such as the yeah, we saw these. Obtain feature. Instead of having to navigate a bunch of menus, you can That's use cool. this feature to put Call all life. missing we, we, you know, we take it. into a queue where you can use one click to purchase any missing components and then craft your desired piece. Wow. Ooh, that does actually sound very convenient. So oh, convenient, cool. so mm -hmm. convenient. The avatar system will also be updated so you'll be able to use more portraits of your familiar friends as your profile display. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Oh, that mask is Hanachiru Sato, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Dude, there's oh, an Aranara profile. And the Thunderbird and uh -huh. Rue. Uh, I can more. be an Aranara. <laughs> Treasure compasses have also been updated. Its markers will be displayed on both the large map and the mini map. The compasses Was Jet there will too? also include information about different map layers. 
Sweet. That's way more yeah. intuitive. Mm -hmm. It's time to eradicate all the maps with 99% exploration progress. Heck yeah! yeah. Exploration! That's cool. That's, that's actually good quality of life. Now I mean, it should have been done two years ago, but we take it. Systems, it's time to talk about some Genshin Impact soundtrack news. <laughs> cool, we'll take it. Let's go music! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Genshin Impact's third Fontaine OST, Cantus Eternus, will debut during version 4.6. This album features original music created by the Hoyo Mix team for the new region of Fontaine and okay. related content. Yes. Yes. Music is my favorite. So we'll take that. <laughs> oh no, y'all! It looks like there's nothing left for us to present. <gasps> I know, yes. I know. So oh shit! I didn't mean to move. I, I didn't mean to move. That means it's time for this special program to come to a close. But first, oh. a special guest. Hey, hey guys, stop. No Chronicle yeah. Banner. All I'm I guess not. Right I'm not gonna awesome. lie, chat. <laughs> Our Lakino looks fucking sick. Our Lakino. Unironically, unequivocally, uncatastrophically, looks insane. Wait a second. Chat, you, do we think this guy's gonna be playable? He looks like a four star. Like, this guy looks like a free four star. His eyes are too intense. <laughs> Yo, he's staring into my soul. Bro, 2023, Scythe. Wait, no, 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 this is older. 2021, can you imagine how sick it would be? I wanna use a Scythe. 2021! Uncle Ziox. Bro, this was three years ago. What do you mean, Uncle Ziox? I didn't receive Intel three years ago. I didn't even know Arlecchino existed. Your 2023 tr tweet is true? Free Fowl, Mora Meat, Playable Arlecchino. Wait, I actually cooked. New skins? Uh, not yet. Presets? Oh, wait, I actually cooked. It's not real though, but I did cook. Constellation Toggle? Not yet. Scythe Weapon? I mean, you know. More resin. Abyss 13 to 15. Co op co. Right in? Okay, I mean. Maybe Senora will come back though. If this weapon actually gives her a scythe and no one else, and no other weapon gives her a scythe, like I don't know if she makes other weapons a scythe, but if it's literally only this one, then this is the biggest like weapon you need in the world. It better be good, dude. Wait, chat, wasn't there a Baiju rerun soon, or am I like recently, or am I like 4.2? Yo, who asked for him? Is this motherfucker about to die? I know he's one sneeze away from passing out, but why is he back? <laughs> he's Fatui. Wait, true. Wait, oh my god. Wait, you're fucking cooking. Arlecchino, you know, Fatui. Uh, Linny, Fatui. Wanderer, uh, you know, uh, Scaramouche, Fatui. Whatever, okay? Baiju. He's pantalone. Oh my god, wait. We actually could wait a second. All along, he was pantalone. Skip Arlecchino for Siege Ween. I I respect your personal everyone's personal preferences, but that has to be a ban.